Today I want to speak about God's economy. God's economy. In Exodus 36 verses 3 to 7, we see a pattern that we don't get to see nowadays because there is something that has happened. Moses in this scripture, he is calling forth for people to come and give offerings towards the building project. And there was such abundance to the extent that people were told not to continue to give. Can it happen in our day? I believe it's impossible for us to see this pattern nowadays. I believe it is so because these people, they were not slaves to creditors. Nowadays, we see ourselves in debt. So it is difficult for us to be involved in the things that God is wanting us to do because of that debt. Nowadays, we are under the bondage of debt. But God wants us to be free from debt so that we can be a blessing into every good work that he's wanting us to do. All what we need to do is to take our natural steps towards making a decision that I, I want to be debt free. And then the supernatural, God will deal with that. So begin today. Decide that I want to be free from debt. I write this is what I wrote in, in, in my book. God's economy supersedes all other human economies. God has got an economy that operates over and above while at the same time superimposed upon any national economy of men that exist at the time. The economy of God operates at a much higher dimension than the economies of men. Choose to live under the economy of God where God provides supernaturally. But for him to do that, we have to be a people that are dead free.